Peter Yan, Sugar Sean O'Malley uh, fight before that, which Sugar Sean gets a very contentious split decision win. Uh, a really, really fun fight. It's This is where I really hate round scoring because the first round, it didn't feel like any real hard damage was thrown. Um, pretty mild feeling each other out round. I gave a mild advantage to Peter Yan. Second round where the fun really started. Oh, Sean clocks Yan. I think that's the first time I've seen in his UFC career, Peter Yan gets staggered like that. And then Yan, like he does this thing, he kind of like holds O'Malley's hands like he's trying to just play defense for a second and steps in, clocks him right back after being on Wobbly Street for 20 seconds uh, and then gets O'Malley down, kind of dominates the rest of the round, a mix of grap in the grappling world for a good two minutes and has some good striking moments. So that felt with the damage on the feet being like equal in those blows and the grappling, you could give it to Yan. Then the third round was just fireworks. Uh, O'Malley landed some hard shots and staggered Jan. Jan landed some hard ones back, but they didn't really stagger O'Malley. Jan again with some effective grappling, but it just felt like O'Malley landed so much more damage on Jan uh, in that round than anyone else in the fight. So I felt like mild first round Jan, moderate second round Jan, big third round O'Malley. I, I don't rate the grappling of Jan, which didn't see submission attempts, uh, effective striking or anything that would really get him close to finishing the fight that highly compared to the damage that O'Malley was landing throughout the round. So like it, it was a fight where I absolutely wish there was a fourth and fifth round to see how that continued. Uh, but like it felt like Okay, O'Malley won, or Jan won on the cards, but O'Malley kind of won the fight for me. Uh, and then they give it to Jan, which, or excuse me, O'Malley, which I didn't see. Uh, but a really fun fight. It definitely proved that Sean O'Malley is at the top of the division. Pierre de Jan's grappling is no joke, and he dealt with it. His striking, even scarier. Uh, and O'Malley was in there and like at that level uh so some really fun fights in the future i think for sean o'malley i don't he might be one or zero away from a title shot uh i think a, a lot of people have to take back at least what they said about being outclassed uh, which i'm not i i think the vera loss is really blemish uh, on his ability and the people using that to justify trashing him uh, were talking nonsense and just hating the ego. So uh, I, I don't know about congratulations. I'm a big Piotr Jan fan and kind of disappointed about where his career trajectory goes from here because two losses in a row, but he still might be the best guy in the division. It's a weird spot. But yeah, the bantamweight division, always entertaining as of late. Uh, last note, 